the X. Welcome back to another ANSYS example right here on Cabinder examples. Yes, we have a, a simulation that we are going to conduct and it consists of a pair of meshing spur gears. Let us consider that there is a, a torque of 15,000 pound inches that is applied on the upper gear. This happens while both gears are at rest. Our aim is to assess the maximum stress during the transmission of the torque. Normally, the maximum stress occurs at contact A, which is here. So where there is a contact, the maximum stress occurs at this point. And the bending stress, B, that normally occurs at the root of the tooth. Now, let's jump right into ANSYS and get this done. Now that ANSYS workbench is fully loaded and ready, let's import our geometry. The geometry will be provided in the description below. So once you download it, you navigate to your geometry and import your file. If when you, you open the folder, you don't see your geometry, you just come here and then change the file type to geometry file. Okay. And then you will see your geometry and then you click on your geometry and open. Now that our geometry is imported, let's right click and duplicate. So right click on geometry, duplicate, and let's rename our geometry. So you double click where the name is and let's call this one 3D gear. And this one as well, 2D gear. Now let's jog a static structural into our project schematic and let's chart our geometry to share b2 and let's rename our static structural to to the to the gear simulation okay and now let's double click on geometry and we're going to edit our geometry and that will take a few seconds to load now our design modeler is loaded and our geometry is a 3d geometry so we're going to change it to a 2d geometry so let's right click on extrude and let's delete that yes now let's go to sketch right here let's select sketch and let's go to concept surface from sketches apply and then generate and now we've created a surface from the previous sketch and you can click on Z to go to a front on view. Remember we want two gears. Okay. We want a top gear and a bottom gear. So let's navigate to create and we need to use body transformation translate okay with that we 
we need to select this body apply and let's now go to the direction definition coordinates and for the y offset let's make that 5.01 inches and let's now change the preserved bodies from no to yes Now let's click on generate and as you can see we have two guests here and let's rename our bodies so this one is the lower gear so you can click F2 on your keyboard and type lower gear and this one is the upper gear repeat the process F2 can type upper gear okay and now you can hit zoom to fit here are two gears let's come here and box zoom and let's box zoom in this area and just make sure our gears are not touching wait a bit more and you can see some tolerance between them and now you can go ahead and close the design modeler and we'll then set up geometry in mechanical now let's set up our mechanical before we do that we need to change the analyst type from 3d to 2d and we can do this two ways and i'm going to show you how we can do this both ways if you notice i already have the properties on the right so let's say yours is closed you can come to view properties and turn on your properties so if you click on any one of these the property will show up here for each okay so let's go to geometry and let's change it to 2D so advanced geometry options analyst type it was 3D let's put it to 2D okay that's one way second way if this is closed then simply right click on geometry properties and that's another way of changing your properties okay so analyst type is already 2D now let's double click on model to start our mechanical now that mechanical is fully loaded and ready first thing you need to change is your units so you can change your units to us customary inches pounds mass pounds force okay so this one and then we'll now go to geometry and with that highlighted we'll make some changes in our definition or detail window so let's check on our 2d behavior make sure that is set to plain stress and let's open our geometry lower gear and upper gear so you can use control to highlight both and make sure the material is set to structural steel and also make sure the thickness is one inch let's set up our contact region so you can close geometry here and go down to connections so you expand connections click on contact region and i'm going to make this bigger so that 
you can see clearly and I'm going to come here and I'm going to use box zoom and let's zoom into this area okay once we have that area zoomed we're now going to make some changes to this region so for contacts let's select edge right here and we're going to make the lower gear this portion of the lower gear our contact and you can come here and then apply and we are going to make the this portion so for the target click on target here and select this portion right here for our target and click apply so contact lower gear target upper gear these two parts now let's go down to our type so definition type and let's make our type frictionless and let's go to advanced formulation and let's make our formulation augmented log range now let's go over to geometric modification and we need to change the interface treatment and that should be adjust to touch okay now we have completed our contact setup you can just simply click back here and this will take your detail window back to the original size and let's go to mesh let's right click on mesh well you can click on mesh then right click and let's say generate mesh and our mesh is is now generated but as you you can see they are quite quite large so let's apply some sizing to to this so to do that right click on mesh and you'll see insert sizing and now we need to select some areas so make sure you have the edge selected and let's select some areas for this so for geometry let's click geometry and let's select these six areas so hold control so click this one hold control and click the others you can zoom in by using the middle mouse button pushing it away from you and hold control and this point and this point this point this point apply so you should have six edges here and now we need to make some changes to our element size this is too too big element size here it should be 0 0.01 hit enter on the keyboard and now this looks more legit and let's now go to our gears so you can expand geometry you can right click on your lower gear generate mesh it will take a few seconds to do so and now you right click on your upper gear generate mesh with that done you can now come back to mesh and select that and here we have our mesh as you can see the mesh in the the area of contact and the root of the tooth is much finer 
than previously. So this will give us a more accurate result when we run our simulation. Now let's apply some load to our gears. So let's navigate to zoom to fit and zoom in a bit. And let's right click on static structure, insert, and let's insert a fixed support. And for the geometry, we're going to insert that to the inner lower rim. Apply. Let's apply some frictionless support to the upper gear in a rim which is here so right click on static structure insert and frictionless let's go down to frictionless support and let's select the inner rim of the upper gear and apply okay now we need to apply a moment of 15,000 pound forces and this will be in the clockwise direction so we know anti-clockwise is positive and clockwise is negative. So let's right click again on static structure, insert. And now we need to insert a moment and it will be on the inner rim of the upper gear as well. Apply. And for the magnitude, this is where we're going to key in our pongs force of 15,000 and turn a keyboard. Now let's apply our results. So in order to do that, we have to go to solution and right click and we need to insert stress equivalent parameters right there. So you can right click and solve. And this will take a few seconds. Now let's zoom into our area where we, we really need to examine. So let's go to box select. Let's zoom in into this area. Let's do another zoom and the, our display is quite ugly and that is the that is because of the scale so let's go to results and here where we have auto scale let's change that to true scale and now we have our true scale box select is still selected and we can zoom in a bit more and now we can examine our results so firstly i like to change show edges to no wireframe and I also like to use probe and you can make sure the stop is off if it's checked you take it off and once you, you go over it you can take your time you can use the pan which is control and the middle mouse button and you can examine each point of your gear also, if you zoom out, you can also examine the root. And here are our results. And also, you can just go back to your fixed support and zoom to fit. And just examine those moment and our equivalent stress. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. Enjoy. Bye for now.